On this episode of the vlog, Ricardo eats ice, shares a bath with a lot of people, and nearly gets washed away. <laughs> So this exhibition is my favorite things. It's mainly about what makes Icelandic people's origin and their culture and the craftsmanship and what they deem important to be in an Icelandic. They also have two ledgers that are like half all the information about the people's possessions and what they own and how much was worth it. It's very interesting. That's the boat. One of the boats they use for fishing. It's a model of the house that they will live in, work, study. See, it was their warmer beds. I don't know if you can see it. It's very interesting. This is very interesting. It shows Iceland through the decades. So that's at the start of 1900s and goes all the way. <laughs> and this is the last. <laughs> the end of the 20th century. So we are now at the National Gallery of Iceland and this artist Ruri, very interesting, oh Ruri, <laughs> very interesting idea on how to preserve life and nature. Wow, I don't know if you can hear that. It's so colorful. <laughs> I like the depiction of everyday life in their country. Only fishing and farming. I think they had wool as well at the beginning. Because this is from the last century. And this is more the <laughs> the contemporary art gallery is a corridor. The founder wanted international artists to be able to uh, portray here. Um, so he gave Icelanders a choice, well not choice, an opportunity to um, see different art, modern art, from around the world. And it's very cool.
This is the best view from a room. I don't think it was capture with the iPhone. <laughs> this is so cute. I do love their horses. Well, they're the backbone of how they built this country. As with a lot of the other countries around the world. If it wasn't for them, it'd be much slower progress for us. So we are at the harbor now. This is one of the tourist boats. So I am going to watching. This is the real life to see. So the reason why I couldn't book online <laughs> this morning and I was like walking so fast from the hotel to the harbor to be able to get a ticket or there was a no show. It's because all the tours cancelled <laughs> going out onto the sea today because the water is so rough and choppy. And from here you can actually see the waves. But because it's such a beautiful sunny day. But anyway, hopefully it's then. <laughs> so this is ignore a not full sun. <laughs> He's the Norseman that founded the city in 874 AD. So that's the new center of the city with the new buildings. Yeah, it's not pretty. So now we're going to that white museum. Because um, it was popular with when you go, when I went to the Iceland National Museum, it's National Gallery. You okay, get that included as well. So, this is very interesting. I didn't know I had shifted. This shows us how in the past 30 years we've lost so much glaciers. The lagoon has more than doubled in area since 1994. The surface of Heinerberg skull has in some places dropped by 100 meters in height in the last 30 years. So we are now at Perlan Wonders of Iceland, which is Reykjavik number one tourist attraction. This is like an exploratorium of all the nature exploration, scientific uh, 
things that happen occurs in this beautiful island. Oh, this is the inside. It's very interesting. And they have an ice cave, which is minus 15 degrees or 5 Fahrenheit. So just waiting for that. Very excited. So this is the first man-made cave in the world. It's cold, but not that cold <laughs> and it seems it's the replica of a cave that you used to have Such a cool interactive map. So they have a volcano show here. Um, just show the, you these. I went to the planetarium and they ex explain how auroras are born or created. It was such a beautiful and interesting show. But during these shows, they're not allowed videos or photos. Understandably so. This is just to show. It's such an interesting place. Look at the panoramic platform. Such a beautiful day, you can see every mountain range. So we're now at Crambatoon Park. That's where the art museum is. It looks pretty cool. I do love parks. This is a Protestant church. It's quite pretty. Okay, take two. <laughs> Let's hope we can see some whales nice and early because that's the skeleton of a whale
the dolphin we got to see, white big dolphin, which is he only lives. The in the is sea. about one tiny little brown back surfacing. Five o'clock, and uh, the other one should still be here around all one. So we are twenty minutes outside the city. It's just so peaceful. I forgot to book my Blue Lagoon <laughs> ticket. I booked the transport, but forgot to book the ticket to go in. So I'm actually going to Sky Lagoon which is where all the locals go uh, so that'll be nice it, this is so pretty just love it looks really nice hey guys well I, was, I wasn't going to film this because I didn't want to be another tourist <laughs> but I've enjoyed my time here so much and it's been an incredible experience. I was able to do the seven ritual step and it's just like, you know, you go to the sauna, cold plunge, body scrub, um, rain, cold rain, and this is just amazing. The view from the sauna there it has this huge window and it's just incredible. Um, I was able to be there a lot of time. That waterfall is really cool. Been on the red. Uh, so yeah, this is pretty much it. Uh, it is a stunning place. So, I don't know, I might want to book the Blue Lagoon. Uh, but yeah more touristy than I thought that it would be but obviously it's close to thing but it's just so beautiful you should definitely book your trip to Iceland <laughs> I think I will do too <laughs> hey everyone uh, thank you for being a patron uh, I hope we enjoy our time together exploring new places certainly do love to travel um, but I think it's more about showing how beautiful the world is. Uh, it's incredible cultures, people, food, <laughs> and so much knowledge and history that I'm gonna be really happy to share with all of you if you so want to. Anyway, thank you so much for subscribing and see you later. I really do love it out here. I think we should all do a group outing. <laughs> I stay here. <laughs> Morning. So I know you like the breakfast bit. So this is at the Hilton. Early start. So excited about today's tour. Um, but yeah, this is a very complete uh, breakfast compared to the curios. <sighs> Anyway, excited for you to see today. So you have the bar area there. And through there, you go to the cold plunge, sauna, rain, scrub, and spa. Amazing. Here we go. Okay, so for the first stop of the tour, we're in Urida Falls Falls. So cold. So yeah, it's the longest river. It's part of the longest river in Iceland. 
Kasman. The tour guy is from Romania and she's pretty funny. So she's giving this house like an extra stop that is not in on the tour. It's so pretty, you can almost feel like you can see the ocean there. So the reason why Iceland looks so barren <laughs> in a lot of places is because first settlers came in from Denmark. Uh, they chopped all the trees to build their houses and they would think that they would, would just grow back as quickly as they do in the northern countries but they didn't <laughs> but they do have a reforestation program so this is where the 2010 eruption AF so that's the crater that stopped the volcanic ash stopped the aerospace because of all the ash didn't have a lot of lava but it did do a lot of ash into the sky. So over there we have Vesfani Island. I don't know how to pronounce it, but it's like the picture perfect Iceland whenever they show like the little house in the middle of a mountain it's very beautiful. So it's that. So this is the south coast of Iceland. Alrighty, where well, we're now at Skagos Fall, which is one of the biggest ones they have. Uh, it's so cool. You can see that much body of water coming down, but you can see how it freezes. Like Iceland has so like fifteen thousand waterfalls or something like that. And we can go climb it. Come on. Definitely worth coming up the steps. Especially in this glorious sunny day. Can you see the rainbow? There is a legend about it, but there's a part of gold at the end of that. <laughs> well, it's kind of stunning. And that's the rainbow again. Beautiful. 
like anything you need to know when it's kind of there, right? Me of the 12 apostles in the Gold Coast. Shout out to all the Aussies! <laughs> it's a beautiful sunny day. Really nice sunny day out, beautiful caves in the back. I do love the sound of the ocean. <laughs> I don't think I've ever been black sand, but we don't have black pebble here. It's pretty cool. But yeah, this place is just amazing. So lucky with the weather. I don't know, can you see other? So the church and also the harpa. The inspiration was also with this type of hexagonal shapes. We just take inspiration from nature, don't we? like nature's graffiti so we are now in the town of Vic which was a fishing settlement uh, and I think like you will always see this postcard with this little church at the top yeah, let me see <laughs> I so want to do a trekking tour <laughs> next time. <laughs> so here we are. This is base camp. Another bus will take us up to go and climb the fjord. Getting geared up. Right, so we are at Sole Magical Glacier. I actually took pictures of it at, at the, one of the galleries of how much it's gone down. It's impressive. So 30 years ago, 1990, it used to be around the <laughs> parking lot. This. That's how much we've lost already. It's the same like a very tumble right now. Everybody's really stunning.
So the guy was telling us how lucky we are that it's sunny and it's not raining because usually it would be raining. So and there's not too much wind so it's not that cold. But yeah, she was saying all this black stuff is volcanic ash and when there's a lot of it, it protects the glacier but when it's not so much like here, it just hit uh, traps the heat, so obviously it melts it more. Oh yeah, it's stunning. Just breathless. <laughs> of like how of the beauty, <laughs> not because. <laughs> this is how old the glacier is. Wait, let me let me see precisely how old it is. <laughs> 1,512 years, two days and two hours. <laughs> now it's hard to tell exactly how old it is because... It's so good. So you can try it, but I think it's gonna have some volcanic ash as well. Oh. We're not even at the top, I think. So the meaning of the word Sommekovik, something like that, means the home of the sun glacier. So peaceful. And now we're gonna go to the back of it. This is one of the waterfalls. I guess it's summer. You go behind it, but because it's frozen. <laughs> Just love hearing the sound of the cascade. <laughs> That's some pressure there. Ooh. <laughs> 